pre-inspection and plan review section is critical to the entire evaluation process. Start off by verifying that the drawings and specifications clearly indicate the spaces in the building that are conditioned and unconditioned. For construction assemblies separating these spaces, determine if the type of insulation and material, for example fiberglass baths, and the R value of that insulation is clearly noted. Indicate the missing information. Determine if the area's U factors and SHGC values for each window, door, skylight, or other fenestration product are shown on the drawings, specifications, energy code compliance documentation, or glazing schedule. If these items do not meet the prescriptive requirements as specified on the checklist in IECC Table 402.1.1, determine if alternative supporting documentation is provided. For example, res check documentation could be used as an alternative to the prescriptive approach. This alternative documentation should demonstrate an area of weighted trade-off, where some assemblies exceed code and others may not meet code, and if the documentation validates compliance with the energy code. Verify that all relevant information related to heating and or cooling load calculations is available. This would include, for example, the actual calculations, the types of construction assemblies assumed, and information on lighting and equipment. The load calculations should match the building plans. Verify that all mechanical and service water heating, SWH, equipment types, sizes, energy sources, efficiencies, makes, and model numbers are shown on the drawings, specifications, or mechanical schedule. This information can typically be found in mechanical schedules. Verify that the relevant information related to duct and piping location, insulation type and R value, and means of sealing are shown on the drawings, specifications, or mechanical schedule. The goal is to make sure the Energy Code compliance documentation is correct and complete and matches what is on the plans and specifications. This will increase the accuracy of data collection in the field.